Sandy, you've had a you've had a pretty good season because whenever I do the results, I'm seeing your name at the top of the list quite a bit. Yeah, it's been going pretty well. Um, mainly just been doing the short ones, so this is probably the longest one I've done so far this year. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a different challenge, but yeah, yeah. it's been going, going pretty well. Yeah. Busy day today. Is that a good build up for the nationals next week? Uh, Two races. I mean, I don't probably. know how much, I don't <laughs> know how much these not. things take out of you. Yeah, I mean, um, you feel them afterwards. Um, yeah. As long as you don't get ill, I think it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I always like to do these just because they're fun. Um, yeah. I worry about next week, uh, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are quite different. I mean, this is, uh, I guess, a lot shorter than, than next week, which is 2.7 miles. Yeah, completely different. Um, so, yeah, the, the kind of rider that wins here isn't necessarily enemy anything mm. like the kind of rider that, that wins next weekend uh but that's hill climbing um i guess there's not that many um cycle races where you'd have you know the the guys that are perhaps good <laughs> at a one minute effort also having to do 15 minute efforts so yeah. um yeah it's quite you know it's just part of hill climbing it's good fun well it's quite sad that you don't actually get all the top people um men and women racing something like monsel um or even or even these races today but uh but next week, you've, you've been third in the championships a couple of years ago when I was there. Um, what's it like to, to do well in, in the championships? Because it, it seems to be a very popular event. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, a few of the other races like Monswell and the uh, mm. Rake and venues like that, and today as well, you get a really good crowd. But mm. Nationals, it's always another level. Um, <laughs> and, I mean, yeah, Winnets was, was ridiculous, really. I think half of it was the weather. <laughs> um, but yeah and, and the you know it's such an iconic course um i think the struggle will be you know it, it's a really deserving course you know it's yeah. um no question that it, it's a proper hill um and i think yeah it's gonna be something to really look forward to uh, i don't think i'll be troubling the podium this uh, this year it's a bit long for me but yeah, it'll be a, a really great event well uh today just give us a quick summary of, of reba because i thought it started here but Adam was saying it starts down there. Yes, yeah, so you have a nice easy warm up into it, um, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, then you get onto the pro uh, course proper. And uh, so, how far is this one then? Um, about a mile? Around about that. Yeah, I mean, it's mm. usually the benchmark uh, for a fast time is under three thirty on here, so yeah. it's kind of a middle distance, I guess, for a hill climb. Um, but yeah, it's all pacing's really important. Picking your lines really important here. That's. Uh, mm that's a hill where you can't really afford to get your line wrong <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah it's, it's it's one of those kind of iconic courses really well i haven't been to matlock since the the bank nationals were on the on the bank road where it's, been. it's a it's a very hilly area uh, there's one or two hills around you here, could do yeah. so many hill climbs around oh here. yeah you're not going to struggle i mean trying <laughs> to avoid them so yeah <laughs> the tricky bit usually right. so you're just going for a little warm-up yeah just go and have a check my tire pressures check my racing line um, see where the wet and dry make, lines make sure are. it's still there um hasn't washed away yesterday and then uh, well, good luck to see you on the climb line. all right we'll yeah. see you soon